We meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear. In an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds.
promised by men for many centuries comes true on October the 4th, 1957.
Was it hazardous? Yes, it was. The first strides into the unknown were about to be made. The hero who blazed the trail for the stars.
And now, a new breakthrough in space conquests. For the first time, the spaceman has to leave the ship and step out into open space. The first one to do this was Alexei Leonov. Everything is ready. Let's go. Everything is strange and unusual in this new world. But no support. No top. No bottom. Everything is weightless. Everything is weightless. Orientation is lost. The vacuum is dangerous.
so at uh, 68 hours, uh, 55 minutes, continue to monitor. This is Apollo Control. signal uh, with Apollo 8 at uh, 68 hours uh, 58 uh, minutes uh, 45 seconds we will watch with continuing interest the AOS clock here in mission control they're traveling over the back side of the moon now our velocity reading here uh, 7777 feet per second. Now we're in our period of longest wait, continuing to monitor. This is Apollo Control, Houston. Apollo Control, Houston, uh, we've acquired signal, but uh, no voice contact yet. We're standing by. We're looking at engine data, and it looks good. Uh, tank pressures look good. Apollo 8, Apollo 8, this is Houston, Houston, over. Roger, Houston, we read you out, clear, how do you read us? We've got it, uh, we've got it, Apollo uh, 8 now in, in lunar orbit, uh, there's a cheer in the, this room, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston, uh, switching now to the voice of Jim Lovell. 5.5, hear your voice.
the unmanned lunar orbiter spacecraft traverse the moon perhaps uh, over 10,000 times. But this is the first that a man aboard reported to his compatriots here on Earth.
This is Apollo Control at 102 hours into the flight of Apollo 11. It's grown quite quiet here in Mission Control. A few moments ago, Flight Director Gene Kranz uh, requested that everyone sit down, get prepared for events that are coming. And he closed with a remark, good luck to all of you. minutes now until ignition for powered descent. Everything's still looking very good at this point. Okay, all flight controllers, go, no, go for powered descent. Retro, go. Lido, go. Guide, go. Control, go. Telcom, go. Jinsei, go. Econ, go. Surgeon, go. Capcom, or go for powered descent. We're off to a good start. Play it cool. Okay, I'll fly the colors. I'm going around the horn. Okay, retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guide. Okay, keep the chatter down in this room. T1, stand by T1. Stay no stay off, light controllers. Retro, stay. Lido, stay. Guide, stay. Control, stay. Calcom, stay. GNC, stay. Econ, stay. Surgeon, stay. Retro, go. Fido, go. Guide, go. Control, go. Falcon, go. Jinsi, go. Econ, go. Surgeon, go. Retro, go. Fido, go. Guide, go. Control, go. Retro, go. Fido, go. Guide, go. Control, go. Go, 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 go. 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 go.
today. Just forge man's destiny of tomorrow. And as we leave the moon in Taurus Littrell, we leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. We've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like it to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. In addition, I uh, have a shaft and trunnion okay. for a look at the Comet Bennett if you need it. Stand by. Stand by a 13, we're looking at it. 
Okay, uh, right now, uh, Houston, the uh, voltage is uh, it's looking good. Uh, we had a pretty large bang associated with the uh, caution and warning there. And as I recall, main B was the one that uh, had a amp spike on it uh, once before. Just red. The interim here, uh, we're starting to uh, go ahead and button up the tunnel again. Yeah, yeah that, that jolt uh, must have rocked uh, uh, the sensor uh, on, uh, see now, an O2 uh, quantity 2. It uh, was oscillating uh, down around 20 to 60 percent. Now it's full scale high again. And uh, Houston, we had a restart on our computer, we had things right, and, uh, and the restart reset. Roger, restart, and restart on the okay. reset. And, uh, and I'm looking at our service module, RCS uh, Helium 1. We have uh, B as Bobby Pole, and D as Bobby Pole. Helium 2, D as Bobby Pole. And uh, secondary propellant, so I have uh, A and uh, C bubble pole. T mag temperatures. Okay, AC2 is showing zip. I'm going to try to reconfigure on that, Jack. Yeah. We got a uh, main bus A undervolt now, too, Sean. Main A undervolt. Getting about 25 and a half. Main B is reading zip right now. Uh, Houston, uh, Odyssey. Fly one, Jim. Okay, in Houston, we'd like you to attempt to reconnect fuel cell 1 to main A and fuel cell 3 to main B. Verify that quad delta is open. Okay, uh, Houston, I'm showing, uh, I tried to reset and uh, fuel cell 1 and 3 are both showing gray flags, but they're both showing zip on the flows. Okay, Houston, are you still reading 13? That's affirmative. Uh, we're reading you. We're uh, trying to come up with some good ideas here for you. Okay, let me give you some Okay, in the interim to help uh, main A uh, voltage, Jack, I've got uh, bus tie AC on. Say again, Fred. Interim to help out main A voltage, I've got uh, main bus tie uh, bad AC on. Uh, I would you rather accept the uh, 25 volts uh, we're seeing on main A? Okay, bus tie AC on. Kane Houston, we need Omni Charlie, please. Uh, we'd like you to verify a couple ratings for us. Uh, we'd like to...